We're Trent and Allie, and unfortunately... Oh, we got big problems. Oh, no. In just two more days, we have our inspection again. And then I think that's like the last inspection until <sighs> final. And we're making the best of a tough situation. I don't want to do this. Do you want a sandwich? Yes. Okay. We're still having fun with my parents in town. We finally have something very exciting to show you guys. And hopefully today ends up smoother than how it started. Hello, gentlemen. Are we still in crisis mode? We're always in crisis mode. Oh my gosh. I never felt tomorrow closing in this fast oh I guess time's in a rush Good morning guys. We are just waking up and getting ready for the day and can I just say I am loving having shorter hair. It is so much easier to maintain and it's nice and healthy thanks to Function of Beauty's products. Function of Beauty is the sponsor of today's video. Function of Beauty is a totally customized hair care experience. Each of their products is formulated specifically to meet your hair needs. They're dermatologist tested so they don't cause any irritations. Their products are high quality and clean without any parabens, sulfates, GMOs, or toxins. And they're 100% vegan and cruelty free. I've been using Function of Beauty for almost a year now and I absolutely love their products. If you wanna check them out, click the link in our description and you'll get 20% off your first order as well. Thanks again to Function of Beauty for sponsoring today's video. We are going to get ready and get to work. What's up guys and good morning. Today I'm actually really excited because in our last episode we actually ended up getting all of the joints pre-filled and all of the screw holes filled with their first layer of mud. Now what we would normally move on to is doing the first layer of tape and just probably one of the hardest parts or one of the hardest curves to learn in the whole drywalling process and I'm a little bit nervous. Also we kind of just went ahead and started doing this pre-filling and the mudding of all the screws before the inspector really <laughs> said that we could. Got a problem. See that seam all the way across that ceiling? Yeah. They gotta be staggered. Um, he said that we had to fix those four joints that were all, uh, you know, the seams weren't staggered. And then we had to replace the screws in the, in the shower. So I did all of that. And even though we've done this mudding, it's very obvious to see that we have made those changes. So I just assume when the inspector shows up again, he won't get mad that we continued because he'll be able to see that the corrections have been made. At least we're hoping. <laughs> the reason we did that is because we were waiting for all of the shower pan components to show up in the mail and they showed up a couple days ago. So now we can actually start doing the shower pan in the master bathroom. And once that's done, we're gonna call for inspection. He's gonna inspect the shower pan. He's gonna check all the drywall stuff. And then I think that's like the last inspection until final. Wow, really? So I'm told, I actually <laughs> have no idea. I've never done this before. <laughs> but anyway, Brandon just showed up. We're gonna head in and get to work. And I think today we're gonna try to put together the shower pan. Well, it is a beautiful morning to get outside and go back inside into the house and start doing the shower pan. I'm really excited about this. I think it's pretty straightforward. It's a kit that comes with all the components you need, all the glue, all the tape, all the everything. And I'm just hoping we could do it first try. There are some uh, interesting problems that we're gonna have to deal with and I'll show you when we get inside. All right, I'm gonna step up here into the shower and just give you guys a lesson on how much of an amateur I am and how I just like have poor planning skills. And I'm, I'm just not, I'm not good at this and it's my first time. So I'm just, I'm doing my best with pretty much everything. You guys already know this, but we have this Curdy shower kit, right? So it has this membrane that goes on the walls. It has preformed curbs and then it has the shower, actually the shower pans are here. This is the drain. This is some tape that seals it up. It's got everything you need. So I bought this kit and when it showed up, I was like, perfect, got everything we need. And like an idiot, I didn't like check all of the 
components and see if there's like other stuff that I need to actually install it. So what has to happen is I thought the curb and the shower pan and everything just sits on the ground and you like glue all the seals together and then it's ready to go. And then you just put your tile on top of it. That is not the case. You have to thin set mortar the walls and the floor to install all this stuff. You have to thin set mortar them all together. And guess what? I don't have any thin set mortar. So even though Brandon stopped at Home Depot on his way in today to pick up some tape for drywall taping, we're gonna go back to Home Depot right now. We're gonna get some thin set, some trowels and a bucket. We're gonna mix all that stuff up and we are going to get this shower pan installed and hopefully by the end of the day, it'll be holding water and we can call for our shower pan and drywall screwing reinspection. And then once those are passed, we can start taping the rest of the drywall. But we need to get this shower pan done so that the inspector doesn't have to come up here two different times. He can just knock two birds out with one stone. <sighs> and I'm intimidated by the shower kit to say the least, but don't tell anybody. automatic caulk gun because I know there's going to be some caulking that needs to be done for the curdy board stuff. And then there's going to be caulking for just like months and months basically because we're going to caulk a lot of stuff in the house. So this is absolutely necessary and I'm, I'm really excited for that. So we made it back. We got all the stuff that we needed. Now I basically just need to see if this curdy membrane we gotta cover all the walls. I need to make sure I have enough of the tape to cover all the seams. And then I just need to figure out the exact order of operations so that I can do the first thing first. And uh, hopefully this goes nice and smooth. How you doing? Did you plan for this to match your hair color? Yeah. Looks so good. I invented this. <laughs> so this is the Curdy Schluter system. It is the shower pan that uh, slopes everything to the drain. Normally you would have to like pack in dry set mortar and like create a shape mm. that funnels all the water into the drain or else you'd end up with water in the corners and mm. it would like never go away and you'd have mold and all kinds of gross stuff. Okay. So this automatically slopes everything to the drain for you. The only problem is that this kit is anticipating your drain being all the way against the wall. Mm. And our drain is not all the way against the wall. Okay. So we're having to try and uh, MacGyver some stuff together. Um, this kit is also a little bit longer than our shower. So we cut that section off the back so that the drain lines up right in the middle of where the drain is supposed to go here. And now we've got to cut a sliver of that to go back here to slope down into the drain on this side. Cool. All right, so I went ahead and cut out the hole for the drain over here. We've got the, the shower pan in what I think is the proper dimensions. I'm trying to push it all the way into that corner. And... Come on. Yeah, look at that. So Brandon is working on cutting the piece that's gonna go back here right now. And then I basically just have to get out the other kit. Oh. <sighs> So he's working on cutting that piece that's gonna go up there. And then I have another one of these that I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna get out of the box and cut to the proper width here and then get it uh, cut to the proper lengths and set in place. And then we can start putting down the thin set mortar, put the uh, membrane on the walls, put the membrane under here, and then we just have to work on the drain. And then it will literally be ready to like, cool. fill with water and be inspected. Wow. What do you know? All right, so I finally got all of my work done and these guys are just crushing it. It's so exciting to see the shower come together. I know it's hot out and I know they've been working for a long time, so I'm hungry. I can't imagine how hungry they are. And Brandon never got to try our brisket from the other night. So I whipped up a couple leftover brisket sandwiches. We'll see what he thinks. Are you hungry? 
Yeah, we got big problems. Oh no. Yeah. Talk to me. Well, I just assumed that this drain would have like a PVC fitting that I could cut this PVC down and glue it on, but it doesn't. It has like this universal coupling and you basically have to be able to tighten these nuts from below. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> so I probably gotta like cut an access panel below this drain. In the ceiling of the bathroom below us. In the ceiling? In the bathroom below us. Okay, worse things have happened. I don't want to do this. Do you want a sandwich? Yes. All right, Brandon. You never got to try the brisket, so here you go. It's cold, so All have right. very low expectations. It's gonna be delicious. <laughs> here, Trent. Cold brisket sandwich. Ooh. Yeah, I know you're you're a picky eater like that, but sometimes it's too hot to have hot meat. Okay, everything was going pretty smoothly. The shower pan install is complicated, but not impossible. Unfortunately, the drain pipe that comes out of the floor that we need to connect our strip drain to is giving the guys some problems. This is really only a problem because in order to access the, the pipe, we need to come at it from below. Well, below is the bathroom, which is fine, but there's a bunch of ducting and there's a bunch of exhaust fans and it's very difficult to access the pipe from the ceiling below. So they're trying to get creative and figure out another solution. The other problem is we called for another inspection. We needed a, another drywall inspection because we failed the first time. We fixed everything that needed to be fixed and the inspector said, okay, next time I come back up, let's do both at the same time. The drywall reinspection and your shower pan inspection. And then he could just kind of knock out both at the same time. So they're trying to finish that today because in just two more days, we have our inspection again. So hopefully they can find out how to make this work somehow creatively. Otherwise, I'm not really sure what we're gonna do, but it could turn into a really big problem. Allie? Yeah. You wanna go to Home Depot? Okay. You know, Brandon went today and then Brandon and I both went today and now you can go today. Oh. Um, you just gotta get this little pipe cutter that we can cut the pipe from the inside. Okay. And then I think everything else we can MacGyver together on the outside. All right, let's make something work. love going to Home Depot by myself because it is so efficient. I know exactly what I need. There is no browsing. I'm in and out in less than five minutes. I've gotten the one tool that I came here for. I found it quickly. We're heading home and hopefully we can fix this mess. How's it looking, Brandon? Looking pretty good. Oh, I don't know what it's supposed to look like, but... It's supposed to look like a nice thin layer of thin set mortar on the wall, and then you go back over it with the grooves and make it look groovy. Whew. All right, so... We had a little bit of an emergency there. We had our uh, our first wall kind of started, uh, how you say, drying while we didn't have any of the curdy uh, membrane on it. So after I got done with the second wall, we had to hurry and start putting this membrane up. We got it all uh, adhered to the first part of the wall over here. It's just a little lumpy in some spots. And I don't know like how big of a deal that's gonna make because you put like a pretty thick thing of like mortar on there and then you stick your tiles and you level your tiles. So like maybe the lumpiness doesn't matter, but I'm like kind of a perfectionist. And so when I see the lumps, I'm like, no, those are problems. We gotta like get rid of that. But who really knows? Not me.
Hello, gentlemen. Hello. Are we still in crisis mode? We're all in crisis mode. Oh my gosh. Is this what you're looking for? Uh, yeah, that looks right. Was that not the fastest Home Depot trip ever? I don't know, I've just been having a nightmare in here, so I haven't really been paying attention to the rest of the world. <laughs> you have a really cute mortar on your nose. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, That's cute. Yeah, thanks, love. So what's happening? You're just going for the walls. Figure out the pipes later. Well, the walls have to go on before you can do the... Floor? The shower pan. Okay. So I'm just... Hey, this is just like when we grouted and tiled in Terry. Yeah, I was talking about that earlier, how that's oh. the only experience that I have. <laughs> and it wasn't really a good one, so... <laughs> This one's not any better, I'll be honest, but I've got high hopes. <laughs> The, the bottom walls and the entire floor are basically done. We have to set the curb in place while the mortar is still wet and pliable. Brandon had to take off for the day, but we are continuing to work because this is just too exciting and there's a lot of pressure on the, uh, on the mortar drying for us to stop right now. It's just so much fun. It really is. We're like transforming into a bathroom right now. Look at that. Mika, you don't care, but this is so cool. First you were just frosting the cake, now you're piping the decorations on the cake. It's all very intricate. You're a baker. I'm a builder. You're a builder? like that when you've been hunched over working on something on like your knees or just hunched over all day and after like four or five hours you like stand up and you're like oh <laughs> you barely move oh so maybe that's a shower pan I couldn't tell you I'm not the guy <laughs> but I did do this and it's a huge mess and as long as it holds water that's all that matters because it just needs to hold water so we can pass the shower pan inspection and then maybe I'll have someone come help me or give me some instruction or watch some more videos on how to tile before I start tiling because the way that this turned out, this is looking pretty bad. So. <laughs> but honestly, like all the seams are taped and mortared. It like, it looks good. We just have to wait for it to dry. Yep. Clean her up a little bit and uh, give her a test fill. Yeah, and that'll probably happen when the inspector's here. We're gonna get cleaned up for the day. We have some more errands and fun things to do with my parents that I think we're gonna put the camera down for, but we will pick you guys up first thing in the morning. Brandon this morning. Yeah, getting your nice iced coffee. Iced coffee. At least it's actually hot to like offset it. Yeah, I could not do this in the winter. Keep us this all year round. What's up guys? Good morning. We have a pretty early morning today. We're running a little bit late. What uh, else is new? I am going to be going golfing with Allie's father, which is something I've been preparing for for months. <laughs> I've got to beat this man. I got to beat him at golf. I got to beat him at least once to show him that I can play his sport. And it's very important to me and it's not gonna happen <laughs> and, it, and it might not happen because he's really good so we are uh, on our way to go pick him up Allie is gonna be going to spend some time with her mother they're gonna be doing some 
We'll tell you. Some stuff. You guys are going to have a great time going along with her. And uh, hopefully at the end of the day, I'm not upset because I couldn't beat Russell. I'll be laughing either way. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Hey. 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 Put all my stuff on. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Hi. Are you ready for our day? I'm so excited. Here's okay. all your stuff. Oh, okay. great. Why did you give him the keys and let him switch things? Oh, we, we're we we're going to take the forerunner. You good. guys are going to take the rental car. The dogs are at the house. We worked it out, but we got to go. Okay, so, get ready. Yeah, and that's see you guys in a little bit. All right, Russell and I have made it here to the golf course. We're gonna go down to the range really quick and hit a small bucket, get a little bit warmed up before John and Brandon show up, and then we're gonna hit the course. Today is a beautiful day. It is like barely 70 degrees, nice and sunny up here in the mountains. Doesn't get much better than this. All right, well, just doing a little bit of putting practice before we take off. I'm Getting close. The whole crew has showed up. You guys remember John. We went to Colorado with John and everybody knows Brandon. I think we're on deck and the guys just teed off. So we're going to head to hole number one. We've been talking for a long time about trying to get my parents to move out west. They live in Washington, D.C. We're in Utah. It's a very long plane ride. It's a multi-day car ride. We're having a baby, and this is the first grandbaby on my side of the family. So my parents are excited. I'm excited. And we all want to be there to help each other, which I'm really grateful for. And we've been trying to convince them to move out here for what feels like forever. We finally have something very exciting to show you guys. Look at this. We asked, we were relentless, and they have decided to rent a house in Salt Lake City. They're gonna come out, probably not full time, but especially at the beginning, my parents really wanna be here to help support us and the baby. Are you excited? Cannot believe it. <laughs> So we're here at this vacant house right now to take some measurements, to start decorating, to plan maybe a little bit of some changes. It's really exciting. Far, I, be, far be it from her to ever keep things the way they are. Yeah, exactly. We gotta change a couple things around, you know, modernize it. It's a really old house. This was actually built in 1924. So we have great some bones. great bones, lots of character, and we're excited to make it their own. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Are you excited? <laughs> we change that, we get this color different. Everything is so exciting. Look at this beautiful window and the trees outside. And this wow. beautiful kitchen. All right, we're not gonna waste any time. While the guys are out golfing, we are gonna start taking some measurements. We're doing all the work. We're gonna do all the real work. All right, well, we are here on the fourth hole, and let's just say I'm not off to a great start. Russell's playing pretty well. He just did a birdie on the last shot, and that's about as good as anybody's done so far. So <sighs> Brandon also got a birdie. I, I have not done well at all. But now we're on a really cool hole where you have to drive across the canyon. You hit the tree right, the tree? yeah, just on the brim. That would have been so perfect yeah, too. Yeah, that would have been yeah. right, barely on the fairway. We were here on the left side and we're hitting across over to the fairway over here. It's quite a difficult shot. Get a kick. 
For those of you guys that don't play golf, the rough is the thicker, longer grass, and when you're trying to estimate how far your ball is gonna go when it's in the rough, you have to hit it harder. Sometimes you have to hit it with a different club than you normally would, and the grass just always slows it down. So it's really hard to judge your distance. And, and Russell came up just a little bit short, but, but it's okay. All I want is to beat this man, and every time I try, I play so poorly. That, golf is one of those sports where like, the harder you try and the more you try to like perform at a high level, the harder it becomes. And if you just kind of like lazily, like just go out there and do it, I, it, you do better. So that's just a lesson that I've been learning today. Russell and I are gonna wrap it up. Brandon and John have already taken off. We're gonna go meet up with the girls. And I think we're gonna go pick up the dogs too because they're just chilling at home. <sighs> well, I put down the camera for what I thought would be one minute, and of course, the day has flown by. We have been so insanely productive. The house is like, we can kind of visualize the furniture. Nothing is here yet, but we've done a lot of cleaning and planning and measuring, and I think it's gonna be the perfect place for my parents to be safe, stable, um, away from the snowy mountaintop that we live on, but still very accessible and able to help us out when inevitably we need just a little extra support right now. So I've been asking them to move out here forever and I'm milking this pregnancy as the perfect excuse to finally make them commit. And I think it's gonna be really perfect. What do you think? Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sweet, dude. I'm really excited for them to maybe live here. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Basically, after an entire day of um, a, a boy's day out and a girl's day out, we have reunited. Trent and I are going to pick up some takeout for Thai for dinner and uh, just hang out with my parents on the ground in the living room. What's better than that? I'm excited. We just spent an incredible evening having dinner on the floor of the new house, hanging out with my parents, enjoying some Thai takeout, and uh, just getting to know the new house. I think everyone really enjoyed a picnic on the floor. That's like kind of a special first meal memory, you know? It was really nice, yeah. and to think that whenever we come to this house and Allie's parents are here and we bring the baby, and just to know that it all like started with this one day yeah. where we all came down here sat on the floor and <laughs> ate food and that's like one of those stories that you remember hearing about when you were kids yeah. and people were like oh yeah the day we got that house like yeah. we just sat on the floor and ate because we were so exhausted yeah. it's usually from moving furniture but we <laughs> we haven't moved really any furniture so a little bit different story here but yeah, yeah. i feel great i want to like not sleep and just be here and like be working on the house tomorrow yeah. and get them set up yeah, yeah it's so like uh, like push pull because like we have our own house that yeah. we're like trying to finish and work on and get done and yeah. get prepared for the baby and then we like also want to help Alex's parents and get this house like all organized and and ready to go and it's just uh we got a lot of work to do <laughs> i don't know if you guys enjoyed coming along on today's adventure watching me get my butt kicked at golf by russell putting in the shower pan we made a huge amount of progress yeah. yesterday ally and leslie made a lot of progress on the house today <sighs> It's been quite the day. But if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks again to Function of Beauty for sponsoring today's video. Click the link in our description to check them out. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. Don't turn off the light. I'm coming home. Ooh.